Tomb Raider is the latest big release, and there's a new face on this one. Absolutely. Alicia Vikander has taken over the role of Lara Croft from Angelina Jolie, and in doing so, she's put on more clothes, and she kind of goes outside. This time, we don't feel like we're trapped in a video game. Story is, Lara Croft's dad's been missing for seven years. She does not believe he's dead, so she goes out to look for him to this weird remote Japanese island where there's a tomb and a myth and a lot of falling stuff. So basically you become Indiana Jones type stuff. So there's a big rolling disc, there's spikes through the floor, mm -hmm. there's lots of running. Of course. Mm -hmm. Well, aside from liking the name of her, because I'm a little partial to the name Alicia, oh. but uh, I don't know, I've heard that it's not that good. It is, it's, it's kind of slow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was a bit bored, but you know what I have to say? I know it's only getting like a 50% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes right now, but I have to say, right now, right time to see a young, fit, strong woman in a leading role and not jiggling through a leading role. Got it. You yeah. know what I mean? So is it worth the popcorn? Um, I think you should take 12 to 14 year old girls to it, yeah, for the popcorn. But otherwise, yeah, it's only two hours. Yeah, we can yeah. all live through that. Yeah, we can. There's your movie minute. We've lived through worse. Oh, much worse. Yeah. yeah.